Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, it's time to show off some adjustments in the game room. Number one, we've cleared off this table. It had been accumulating knickknacks for so long, and now it is clear. We can play some two-player games here. Absolutely fantastic. A running joke that I keep my basement so cold. But folks, if your adrenaline isn't pumping when you're playing tabletop games, I mean, when my when I play games, I get so hot. But uh, we just have a sweatshirt here now for those who find it a little bit chilly. But let's take a look. This is all about updates and improvements, and we've made several. Uh, for starters, over here, there used to be a small shelving unit that had some games, but we have been able to do something a little bit cooler. Hopefully, I remember to document all of the changes. Well, earlier we saw this was the latest shelving unit. We already know that. That is old news. However, we now have two more of them in here. Yes, if you recall, this alcove area under the stairs used to house my pull-out retail display of Mage Knight figures, which we can talk about that in a second, but I really needed more storage space. All right, let's talk about this first, I guess, because this is bright. This is getting in the way. We have a new display case. I actually really, really like this case. We have LED lighting on each of the levels. Of course, it does all the rainbow of colors, all that kind of thing, but this is for my Dragon Ball Z Ichiban Kuji set. And um, actually, it's really for anything. Originally, I was thinking maybe I could put some figures in here. I was even toying with the idea of putting some completed Lego sets in here. But the main reason I got this was to display my Dragon Ball Z Ichiban Kuji prizes, everything really nicely. It just looks fantastic in this case. Um, and uh, yeah, so I was excited about that. So then over here... We now have more room for games. So we had this metal shelf here, this small kind of wiry metal shelf. That was what the games used to be on. This big wooden chest. This is actually the box for the Widower's Wood. You can still kind of see the name on there. A Kickstarter project. And uh, we have it tucked back here now. We have some of the old knick-knacky things. We have some games and stuff back on here. We have our dear friend Dragon back here. We picked up some of these um, Nano Leaf triangles, a starter set of the big ones, and then uh, an expansion pack of the small ones. And right now it's just uh, shuffling, but it can, it, it is so cool, the app for these and all the different customization things you can do with it. And I love this design. It was just a random design I tried out and I stuck with it because it just lights up this whole alcove now. So again, I have still a bunch of knickknacky things all over here. You know, we have the Dungeons and Dragons stuff. The Hand and Eye of Vecna, we have the Demon Statue Dice Tower that came from GameStop, and a whole bunch of other random odds and ends. Filling up the open spaces, because yes, this is the first time in a while I've had shelves that actually had room for that kind of stuff. Otherwise, we have a whole bunch of games in here. Most of my newer acquired games have found a home in here. Some of my latest acquisitions are over here. Steam Up Deluxe Edition. Oh my gosh, this game is fantastic. And uh, Mil Fiori, which I've been looking so forward to from Reiner Knizia and all the cool uh, clear plastic shard tiles you get to play with. And this stack and stuff from one of my favorite designers, Uwe Rosenberg. This is a patchwork style game. And... Uh, it, but it with a different theme. So instead of quilting, you're now trying to s stuff all this stuff into a moving truck, which is actually pretty cool. My mom absolutely destroyed me in that game. But we have a whole bunch of stuff. Of course, we have, I couldn't tuck these guys away, the Mage Knight Dragons and also my Steam Behemoth Tank. Those all got to go up there. I got to finally hang up my Certificate of Achievement for the Dungeon of Death, which is a big deal, folks. 
So yeah, I was just super excited to finally have more storage space for games. We turned this set of drawers this way. We've looked at this before, but this is where I hold all my token dishes, tons of miniatures, uh, even more dice and dice bags and stuff up there. So we turned it that direction. We have all this stuff here in the alcove now. We have the Ichiban Kuji stuff. What else? Okay, so just as a reminder, refresher, or maybe some of you haven't seen my game room before. I'm a huge tabletop gaming fan, mostly board games, but also miniature games. And we have a lot of displays, just complete 360 around the room. Of course, we have the snack zone. We just had a big game night last night. So that came in handy for sure. At that point, there's Henry, Ricky, and Cecilia over there, my dear friends. My iced coffee I just grabbed <laughs> on my way home. More board games, and you'll see a lot of these, these capsule vending machines and whatnot more games, and more games, and my mini claw machine, and then of course tons more games. All right, so then we're back here. So what else changed? Well, actually, I didn't even think to turn the light on in here yet because there's a little bit updates in here. This is where I mostly store my, uh, you know, my painting station, which is right now completely cluttered, covered up with boxes. Um, and uh, all my warlock tiles and miniature building authority buildings and terrain, dwarven forge stuff all over the place. And I know it looks, I don't know, to me it looks like an absolute mess, but we have cleared away some stuff because this was like three layers deep between all the stuff on the shelves and then a whole layer and then more and more and more. I've cut it down to basically just two layers now because I was able to uh, do something in another closet, which we'll take a look at in a second. But under this table, I have one of these huge tubs. This is where half of the Mage Knight booster packs from that huge display went. They're now stored in there. And then we'll show you what the other half look like. But I won't, just want to take a peek in here because now there's a lot more room to actually walk around here. That's the main thing. That you can actually get across the entire room and without too much difficulty. All right, anyways, this is the next exciting part, though, which is in here in this closet, which you may, I think, during my... Uh, Last game room tour, I ha think I had Colonel's the Popcorn Clown sitting there, and so now Colonel's is in here. He is in here, and uh, this is my closet back in here. And so in this is where the rest of my Mage Knight booster packs are. Unopened, sealed Mage Knight starters and booster packs. But this, folks, this is what I was so excited about. I put three of these plastic shelving units in here and was able to get so much stuff in there. And I can actually get to my Christmas tree now. <laughs> Wrapping paper, some other Halloween decorations. Of course, we have Big Dave back here. Uh, but we have all this stuff. Step piled high. Uh, most of what's in those tubs is Playmobil and some holiday decorations. But a lot of this was in that utility room that I now have dug out and stuck on these shelves. So I have all of this Dungeons and Lasers terrain. I have so much of the WizKids stuff, all those war machines. I have all that monster fight club scenery and uh, dirt cheap dungeons. Boxes and boxes of stuff, and more and more and more. So that, I was able to store all of that in there with these shelves, and I can pull this tub out of here to actually get back in there. But that's where the other half of the Mage Knight stuff went. But yeah, so that, I just wanted to do a quick update, because I think things out in the main game room here have become a little bit nicer, at least in my opinion, so now we have way more storage stuff, 
which I love. So, but of course, then I'm going to have to find room for the knickknacks when it is time to put games in those cubbies. But otherwise, I think that ended up being a fantastic use of space in this alcove, which formerly held all those Mage Knight booster packs. All right, folks, that's it. Just a quick up update for all of you. Thank you all so much for watching, as always, and until next time.